Hello, welcome to, uh, welcome back to, um, the Skippy Eye taking over the world, one step at a time. Um, uh, usually accompanied by a step backwards, but not always. Uh, when you joined us last, we were walking like an Egyptian, uh, which made us very popular with, with the people. So much so, that there were, there were murmurings that there should be a the possibility of a civil war within the Empire, but I couldn't possibly comment. Even though Rome is looking like quite a tasty, uh, quite a tasty target there. Um, you don't miss much in the in the interim. I uh, had a had a brief moment where I um, hold a second. There we go. Um, yeah, before I went on air, on air, online, started recording, whatever. Um, I had another tweak with the uh, with the settlements, and you'll be pleased to announce. I'm very proud to announce that every single one of my, not one, well, yeah, every single one of my settlements is miserable. Apart from Kaidonia, and there's nothing I can do about that. Very high tax rates, and they still love me. But everybody else is either disillusioned, or hmm, content, that's not right. Say, so I've, I've cranked up the taxes, I want to build up a war chest. Because I've realised that I've, uh, this, this little arsenal I've got going on in uh, Sicily and uh, Carthage is, so design is designed in such a way now that every four turns I can crank out uh, two urban cohorts, an onager, well, no, a, a baluster, soon to be onager, uh, two archers, three legions, four legionary calves, um, and a couple of Corvus Quid Marines to uh, carry them on. Uh, for the cost of approximately 6,206 denarii. And no, I don't have too much time on my hands. So that's quite a good, you know, standard, you know, modern Roman army, which should be enough to take on anybody. Something along the lines of this, but with less infantry. But less all around, less units, but it, it can hold the room. So I'm going to send you know, these people over here. Huh. Should I take Pergamum and just finally, just, you know, take the, put the Greeks out of their misery? No, because they've got that place there. I can't think what it's called off the top of my head. So from an economic point of the viewpoint, that's what's been happening. I'll bring some reinforcements up to take Antioch and work our way down. But what I, will, what I also want to do is take these three boats here, blockade Antioch, uh, move these ships here, take everybody out of here apart from the auxilia, and can I land in such a way fine so I cannot you can and you will can you move over there without tiring the troops out no I was hoping for a surprise raid on Sidon just you know, you know lighten things up a bit because I've been talking now for ooh, seven and a half minutes and nothing's happened it's just <laughs> It's for me, talking management. <laughs> so, to liven things up, of course, the Egyptians are invading to take Thebes. I'm going to stop them. I'm going to leave behind one unit of early legionary cav and early legionary cohorts and the two onagers. Move these fellas over here. And you know, take a few take a few Astarte. And a couple of equipment. If I merge everybody there, there we go. Take a couple of you know, highly trained Hastati and a couple of Kate and him. To reinforce the army, Thebes can get a tax break, as can Memphis. Right, look at that. Population of 12,806, completely Egyptian, and they're happy. That's, that's the pyramids for you. So before I talk any more shop, and you know you've you've already you know you've already gone, you click the browsing, you click, click the browser out of here. But uh, for those of you left, ooh, how's he how has he run away? 
I was going to promise a battle, but that's not going to happen. Never mind. Coward. <laughs> okay, I'll hold him there. And I'll spend that 6,000, what was it, 6,206 denarii on one, one bug standard army, please. Move that in there. Uh, those in there. So I've already got the two urban cohorts. They can build a baluster, followed by an archer auxiliar, followed by a legionary cohort, followed by an archer auxiliar. They can't really do anything. A couple of Roman calves. A couple of Roman calves. That wasn't really part of the plan. They don't have an. They don't have a part of the. Oh, of course, standard auxiliar. Standard Auxilia, Cavalry Auxilia, and Roman Cavalry. So you're done for four turns. Thapsus can build two Legionary Cohorts, and Carthage can build a Legionary Cohort. No, a... Yes, a Legionary Cohort. And... Next turn can produce a Legion. Stop using Legionaries. And that'll be done in such a way... Oh, first of all, I need to... <coughs> I say first of all, second... Second of all, I've got to put some ships together because pirates are being irritating again. Over there. Oh, and another Corvus Quimarine. And that is the making up of, you know, a bog standard modern modern Roman army that's capable of taking on almost anybody. What I will do, though, is upset everybody in Spain. Like I haven't upset them already with those comments that I... Uh, I then put on my highlights video. Never mind. Um, by destroying their places of worship and replacing them with good Roman ones. Shrine to Vulcan... Nah, I'll, I'll, I'll have a Shrine to Saturn in all these places, I think. Okay, I'll give them a tax break for, you know, hurt feelings. What's this? Drift Grove, Sacred Grove of Abnuba. Not anymore, it isn't. New Mantua has a sacred, go, sacred circle of Tutatis. Hmm, quite interesting. Okay, they can stay while everybody retrains. The next turn, it's getting knocked down. And Asturica has Sacred Grove of Epona. Like I say, not anymore it doesn't. Scour this another one. Uh, what about Cordoba? Temple to Ball. No it hasn't. They can have a, a Shrine to Saturn like everybody else. And you know what? They're not too fussed about it. What's Tingy got? Tingy has got Scrovesis. This is rather intolerant and bigoted of me, isn't it? But for, as far as gameplay mechanics go, it's the right thing to do. It's not historically accurate or particularly, um, yeah, particularly fitting into a. Uh, a modern environment to destroy people's places of worship and put your own in, but uh, trouble is that although they provide like uh, bonuses in terms of public order and like temple happiness, you can't expand them. So if you have a little shrine and the city grows into a huge city, you can't expand temples that aren't of your culture, and also you get the culture penalty. Mm. Kyrene is a shrine to Athena. Let's see. Lepsis Magna... Ooh, shrine to Ball. Can I afford a replacement? Yeah, I don't know. How much will I get back from... 133. Yes! Just about afford it. And they can build a shrine to Saturn. Saturn's going to have a shrine to everywhere. Because he cuts down the corruption. Good man. Good honest Roman. Now what was it doing? 
I think that's about it for one turn. I wonder, I, I, know, I wonder why these videos take so long. The Parthian ones go by lickety split. No. Hmm. Okay, what about if I left him behind? Oh, he's feeling a bit more confident now. Still a win. Arm strength's two to one. Okay, here we go. Time for some action. I said, wake up. Wake up, there's a battle. <laughs> Very good of you to endure that was a quarter of an hour of careful economic talk. Careful economic management. Those men are the servants of Pharaoh. They think themselves our equals. Huh. But I think they are dead meat. The, uh, the Romans were actually really disdainful of the Ptolemaic dynasty that, um, that was controlling Egypt at this time. Absolute, held it absolute disregard and disdain. In fact, uh, yeah, I'm going to play part way through this video clip. I'm going to sort of probably silence my voice. I'm just going to sort of uh, bring us all this, this audio book that I've been listening to. Uh, talking about, well, what have I done? I'll just move them forward in standard battle formation. Just just how much contempt was had for um, the, the Ptolemies. The Romans just had no time for them. The Egyptian oh wait, cavalry generals just marching forward. I wonder why they keep on doing this. If I play my cards right, I can just knock him out straight away. The enemy general flees. Press gotcha! Well, where do you think you're going? It's time to press the attack. Meanwhile, on this front, oh, I forgot. Everybody, I try not. I try. I try not to pause it, but sometimes. Ooh, that was a good sound. Can I do that again? The legendary cohorts, that echo effect, oh it's wonderful, I don't know if you heard it because it's a bit quiet, but my word, fantastic stuff. Because everyone on this front can halt, what are they up to? Missile cap on the flanks, I know your game. I know your game because I've played your game. Because I've played the Parthians. So, yeah, two can play that game, release the hounds. Also send a general over. That's uh, light cavalry. Yeah. You can chase those Bedouin warriors. I have an absolute morale advantage now, so... There should be very little chance of me losing this battle. Hey, he's back again. Where are you going? Oh, they just, they just... War dogs are, are routing, good, fine. Well, the handlers are, but the dogs are still fighting. It's a very confusing battle. I, I blame myself, mainly, for picking huge, huge unit scales. Say because I can. Oh, very good, very good. Hey, that general's back. Ah, good, right. Everyone can form up into new battle lines because that bit is sorted. What's going on over there? You can fire your people, you can chase them. Chase missile cavalry, what could possibly go wrong? And you can charge into those backs. Hey, they're running away! How 
dare they? What a coward. Yeah, not letting that happen. I'm going to chase these people off. Because I've not gone through a battle just so they can recover afterwards. Oh, they are, that's that's dirty. What do you expect? But I do think that they could probably come over and sort of finish this battle before we sort of do a victory lap. A bit presumptuous of me, really. There we go. Now that's now they're routing. Good, excellent. Now what's happening? <clears throat> with this chase down. Ah, they're getting away! Oh, you cowards. And they're getting away over there as well. Just need somebody to uh, cause them to lose heart. Can they get there in time? Or will they manage to save the entire set of Nubian spearmen? Oh, there's somebody over there to recover. Roman cavalry, then hunt them down. Now what's going on over here? Ah, the oh, they've escaped! The Fine. Fear, and now they flee. An entire... An entire unit of Nubian Spearmen got away unscathed. The Nubian Spearmen there. We'll take them down. Got you over there. Hey, you two get a move on. Hey, somebody's routed. Oh, that's starting, no great loss. Well, that's one way of purging the forces of the uh, pre Marion unit. fellow there. I'll be honest, it was a victory, but I wasn't particularly happy with it. They managed to keep 691 men. It's no good. I don't know what they can do with those 691 men. Is that yeah that's their army that escapes. It's quite substantial. Hmm. Very disappointing. Oh well. well. Hmm. Veteran Centurion. Don't know where he came from. Okay, back to the economic management. Uh you can build a catapult range as soon as you feel up to it. Uh, the Libyan. Will the Hippodrome. I want to see if we can get them producing some good cavalry units. Now, you! Legions! Carthage Thapsus. I don't know, whatever you can afford. Uh, you can just sort of sit pretty, there's nothing that I want from them. Serta Proconsul's Palace? Perhaps a dockyard. Oh, it's very good. 
Very good trade income. Lexus Magna, Shrine to Saturn. We can build a temple to Saturn now. Us can build a shrine to Saturn, they can build a temple to Saturn. That can forget about them. They're happy enough. Too happy. Cordoba can build a temple to Saturn. That's a very fast process of um, Romanizing Spain. And I've run out of money! Hurrah! So where have those pirates gone and what can I do about them? Hmm. They appear to have vanished. Unusual? Oh well, I'm not complaining. So there is stuff we can retrain, but we can't afford it. Still, that does mean that... I, ooh, finally, somebody else has destroyed a faction. I thought I was going to think it was just me. Bang! That's how it's done! Enslave the place, cut some taxes, build some sewers, repair everything. Oh, we can retrain the ballasters. That's what I wanted. I was a bit worried that they were running out of... Um... Wow, that's a good place to take. I can... Legionary cohorts, Praetorian cohort, which... Heavy onagers. Yeah, I picked the right place to take there. And it's bang in the middle of their empire, so they'll be wanting to take that back. General. There's not much that they can do. Imperial. What I might do, though, is waste my time appeasing the Senate, because I'm a nice guy. So you can build some nice ships. I was rather hoping I'd have more armies down here. And once you've built that, this area can be a, a, another recruiting ground for legions. Things are looking up. Oh. Well, you take the bitter with the sweet. I guess I asked for that for all my, uh, all my tax policies. I'm not spending money retraining that. <gasps> Silly to the Empire. It's a shame. Oh well, back with the business of the day. To be fair, they've lasted until two, three, what? They must have lasted almost 40 years, which by, you know, Bear in mind how bad the Seleucids are at this game. I'm taken down by uh, Pontus. Watch out for that. Yeah, considering how bad the AI is at sort of keeping the Seleucids alive, that's pretty impressive. Right, so they were attacked. Yeah, they were attacked by Egyptians, and that hasn't slowed them down, like, at all. And some good Roman virtue there. Construction report. Hmm, very good. Fine. Probably going to want to lower that tax rate, actually. I mean, it's quite fun, squeezing every penny. It does make people very happy. Uh, 
Uh, shrine to Saturn. Awesome temple to Saturn. Shrine to Saturn. Now, somewhere in Spain isn't building. Oh dear. I'm not very happy in Scalabus. Look at that, I'm just too soft cutting all these taxes. And they can be a builder's shrine to Saturn. Good, right, I think Saturn's getting the proper respect now, as he should have. Oof. What makes them so great? Huh. Numerius Tribonius has got a, a problem mother. Mother isn't quite herself today. Plus one management though, so it's not too bad. I don't quite want to do with all these forces in Spain. Coming of age, Numerius Tribonius. Ah, I see. Uh, anything else interesting happening? Nope! Oh, here we are. Our shiny new urban cohorts. So I'll move everybody, everyone that can be retrained, will be retrained. And I think, I'm a bit suspicious as to where those pirates have gone. They were definitely there. I, I saw them, I saw them with my very own eyes, and now they've gone. So what do I do? Hold on to Sidon. Ooh, what should I recruit f first? Should I recruit some legions or onagers? Because they're in the right place to take Damascus, and Antioch, and Jerusalem. In fact, that's such a good spot to attack like everywhere from. Well, I'd have to con just have to content myself with taking Petra because that's what the Senate wants. Hmm. Oh, the progress is going to be so slow. Is there anything we can do to speed up the passage? No, it's going to take so long. <laughs> But I'm a good Roman, I'll do as I said it tells me to. I've built some paved roads. That'll help. Now what's going to happen next turn? Fine. No. Stop asking. I'll send an assassin to finish you off. Well, some people are grumpy, aren't they? Hold on a second. Wasn't there supposed to be... Wasn't there somebody in there? Has he died? Or have I... Oh, never mind. Sidon's been besieged, but come to expect that. He's got plus eight population growth. Where'd he get that from? Slavery, tax bonus, buildings, health, food imports. Again, how do you get food imports? It's beyond me. End of Tim report. Good. That's more like it. Hmm. Yep, we're building up a nice standard Roman army. See, so everybody that's been trained up can go there. Everyone that needs training up can head down there. Hmm. Since those pirates aren't causing any more trouble, may as well take advantage of the fact and just ship everybody across. Hmm. 
next turn. Tell them across next turn. Oh, this army is going to be great once they've built it. Mind me, they just. I've, I've already dealt with all this, haven't I? <sighs> Godova is already building something. Smashing. Cars going over, uh, needs to build Temple of Saturn. Sparta building crop rotation. Good for Sparta. I'm lower that tax rate. Well, that'll grow into a proper city sometime soon. Now, what I want them to do. They can build a fully fledged army on their own accord. What's that in six turns? As I uh, eagerly eye up Corinth and Athens. <clears throat> so the way it works is when the time comes, I get a chance for power event to crop up, I can suddenly declare war on fellow Romans. There's an army over here, that'll march over and take either Croton or Tarentum. Another army over here will walk straight up to Rome, smash through the defences, end of the Senate, end of. Smack kick the Brutii out of southern Italy, thus making the whole of southern Italy secure. And this army in Sparta is just going to have a whale of a time, just sort of crashing through Greece so that, you know, just finish off the Brutii, at least up to a point of irrelevancy. If I chase them up to Thessalonica, they can have all of these northern wastelands, for all I care. Then it'd just be a case of getting 50 provinces. I'm currently on... 29. It's just number 20 provinces. Once I finish off the Egyptians, that's another 6. Uh, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Probably a couple from the Julii. 15, 16. And then, and then what? The end is definitely in sight. You've got to stick with the programme and we'll all be sorted. We just need to recruit some legions and legions and more legions and legions and archer auxilia and more archer auxilia and Roman cavalry and ooh, no, just some more bog standard legionary cavalry. And once they're all connected with paved roads and they've all got connectors, that'll be another hub for another army that'll then sort of go through Egypt, wreaking havoc and destruction in its wake. Oh, and if that, that army's not going to attack next turn. That's not going to happen. I don't think anything interesting is going to happen in the rest of this video, so I'm going to end it here. Uh, I apologise there's only been one battle and there's been a lot of talking and economic management, but... I had to get it all out of the way and get it all explained. Ready to sail. Um, ooh. Aye, Captain. Ready to sail. Aye, aye, Captain. No more moves, sir. Very good. So yeah, not lots gonna happen. Not lots happened to this video, but next video it's all going to kick off, and I can promise you that. Not like Roman wise, but stuff's gonna happen. Uh, so thank you for watching, it's been a bit of a sort of a filler episode, in fact I might entitle it the filler episode, uh, so people know to, you know, not to get their hopes up, as to something interesting happening, and I will see you next time.